Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Seven Mounts, what are the gaming drag today? I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent Ray's Path. So we had approximately five seconds of Max's path left before it was over, so I'm gonna switch on over to Ray because he's got some more fresh content. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> With a sigh, you went into the bathroom and cleaned up before going straight to bed. It was a long day, so it didn't take long for you to fall asleep right away. Ugh, where am I? It's so cold here. Is it always like this at night? You hugged your shoulder, steeling yourself against the cold, when suddenly you heard whisperings and faint murmurs from afar. Is someone there? You looked towards the direction of the voice as if you could somehow move across this formless space, but soon enough the voices did become clearer. Here we are again, Cassian. You! Wait, I know you! Judging from before, aren't you... me? Oh. In a sense, yeah, I guess you have many questions about how we're speaking here right now, but you'll come to understand more in time. I guess so. Hmm. You sat down on what felt like the ground. What's troubling you? It's just... I guess it's something important, but all this just feels like one big dream, you know? Well, technically you are dreaming right now. No, not that. I mean, how I got here in the first place, being turned into this. It all just feels like a weird dream and all this responsibility on top of it. What about it? Just feels like a big ask for me, you know? Yeah, sure, I was confident about it all, but I didn't ask for this life. I did not I didn't want to live as a furry, but not like this. I don't know anything about saving this world. Just thought it'd be nice to have this fluffy body. And all the assets that come with it? Uh, well, I guess there's no denying it, but you probably know that too. You're me, right? Hey, don't leave me hanging, yeah? What do you want me to do? You know that this is just a dream, right? I'm not real. I don't know. I don't think I even know what I want anymore. And I'm afraid I can't help you. What happened to the only person that can help you is yourself? Using a rhetoric to reason with yourself won't do you much good, Cassie. You know that. And how can I help you if you don't even know what you want? Look, just live your life. Do whatever you feel like to. Stop whining about things you have no control over. You'll figure something out along the line. I guess, but what about the others? What about them? What if they don't like me or they're just or they're just, they're disappointed in me? And why do you care? Why not? They're still my friends, right? I don't think that matters, Cassie, and just do you. As you fell silent, mulling over thoughts about your friends and about all this, the mismatched voice in front of you started cackling. What? What's so funny? Are you laughing at me? You muttered, staring at it wide-eyed. But the laughter soon became so distorted that you realized something was off. As you approached this self of yours, its cackling grew higher in pitch before turning into what sounded like your alarm clock. I guess it's time to move on. Afterwards, you glanced at your phone and its blinking light caught your eyes. It was a message from Max. Oh. Oh. Alright, maybe that's the one I should have That's alright. This will be like a little catch-up. He wanted everyone to gather at the tavern for breakfast before heading to the lobby. Master Alaric had announced that someone important was arriving at the city today. All right, let's get ready then. Once you got your morning rituals out of the way, you headed straight to the tavern for a quick and uneventful breakfast with Ray. Afterwards, you joined the others at the lobby. You could already see Alaric from afar. As everyone lined up, Alaric took the podium. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sir Alaric. At ease, people, at ease. As some of you may already know, I've gathered you all here today to inform you of a very important guest. Not only to the guild, but to our entire city, Lady Spring herself. You could hear faint murmurs amongst the mercenaries as everybody traded glances with each other. Indeed, the one and only sage of our land. Many of you here probably haven't seen her in person before. She was the one who oversaw the Guardian Crystal's creation with the Vitrum Praetorium. Afterwards, once having made sure that we could fend for ourselves without her protection, she decided to leave Crystal Coast in our hands. For decades, we've honored her request in keeping the safe haven afloat. That is until the recent transgressions from our opposition. Thus, Lady Spring has decided to return to lend her aid once more. I cannot stress enough how invaluable her support is to our cause. This also means she might face dangers from our own community, now that she's no longer incognito. For that reason, I ask each I ask of you, each and every one of you, to keep her safe, as much as how she'd, keep, like she'd kept our predecessors safe before. Ensure that the road she arrives through remains on maximum security. All houses and properties in proximity must be checked thoroughly for threats. Last but not least, remain absolutely vigilant even in her presence. We cannot let our guard down just because Lady Spring is here to help us. 
Have I made myself clear? Sir, yes, sir. Very good. You are dismissed. Ordini Prosperita. Ordini Prosperita! As everyone went back to their duties, you met up with the others to discuss what Alaric announced. I guess it's her after all. I suppose it's about time we see her in person. Did you know anything about this, Max? Me? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Either way, Lady Spring is coming to town and Alaric wants us to secure the perimeter. We'll be present as a group. Why? Are we splitting up to cover more, ra more grounds? Normally, sure, but we also need to keep an eye on Cassian. There will be a lot of people on site. We wouldn't want to repeat a last time, right? Fair enough. Makes sense. Well, I'm ready when you are. Same. Um, actually, I have something to show you guys. Here, take a look at this. Alex said as he took out a piece of old parchment with some writing scribbled on it. Huh, what's this, Alex? So here's how this happened. Yesterday when I was at the park, I picked up this note that somehow ended up on the path I took. There you go. It is, in fact, water time. All right, guys and gals, and we are back. Okay. <clears throat> I got a tad bit suspicious because on my way there I did not see anything whatsoever, and yet somehow when I turned around back to that spot, this note was sitting right there on an empty bench. Of course, I headed back to the lab as soon as I could. It felt a little unsafe being there alone at that moment. But what is it even about? Here, you guys take a look. Um, okay. Sounds like a bunch of gibberish to me. Huh. Looks like some kind of language I don't know a single word, though. Well, are you sure is isn't just someone's letter or recipe? Cody said as he passed the note to you. Huh. Stop reading, I can't. I only speak the Lord's language. American. <laughs> but that's the thing, Cody. The handwriting looks a bit too neat to be any one of to be any of those things. This feels more like a message than anything. So I take it that you've already deciphered it. Indeed. Well, it's less so an actual cipher and more so an intentionally cryptic message, hidden between a mix of two different languages. Here goes. In the beginning, there were the fi they were the finest. Always together, they had served, thrived, and overcame all. And yet, when the times changed, they were complacent. One moment they love and protect each other, the next they're nothing but bitter cats. They regret it, but they never say. And when the bitter drops cover the broken mirror, the eternal shroud will enlighten us all. Ominous. I do have quite a lot of complaints for the inconsistent grammar and wrong choice of words here, but alas. And well, in a sense, something tells me that this has something to do with a group or a faction that we might have to face. A faction? Do we even know who these people are? I'm afraid not, but they might have something to do with the evil king himself. How can you be so sure? Wait, I think Al might be onto something here. Have you guys ever heard of the king's generals? I think so. Oh, those! Weren't they his finest warriors? That's the only thing I know about them. Yes, and they were also brothers in arms long before all the all the other things happened. Oh, so what? So that what happened to them? Oh, that happened to them. Highly likely, yes. This coincides with the last part of the note. But who could leave this really specific message for you to pick up? I don't really have a lead on anything at the moment. But if this note appeared at a time like this, it could be a sign or a warning for what's to come. We better remain vigilant. Just make sure we work together and not end up like those bitter cats. What a silly way to describe people having beef with each other. Well, either way, that's enough of that. Let's go. Let's get going soon. All right. Looks like everyone is ready to go. What about you, Cassian? Ready to go, or do you still have something to do? I got something to do first. Yeah, um, I have something else to take care of first. You guys wait, mind waiting for me? Sure, we'll wait by the tavern. Just call any of us whenever you're ready to go. Just don't take too long, yeah? We don't got all day, or I guess Lady Spring don't got all day waiting for you. Well, in that case, this is the perfect time to show you a recipe I came up with the, with the new chef. Ooh, that sounds neat. Let's go, then. Didn't everyone here have breakfast already? That said, I don't mind an extra meal from Cody. All right, I guess everyone is on board. Let's go, then. And so they all left for the tavern. Hmm, what should I do now? You went to check the request board, though you decided against it since you're supposed to stick to the group for the day. Um... To do... <gasps> 
Um, what were Ray's things? Oh, I think, wait, 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 no, no, this is, strength is max, endurance is, who was agility? Uh, I think endurance is Ray. Let me see, I don't know how to check my stats. Um, hmm. Is mine. Focus on your endurance. Exercising for a whole heap. more durable now. Okay. And do more endurance. Yeah, I'm endurable. I guess. Um. I don't know. Help me. Who am I? I don't know. Okay. Um. Uh. The, the, the agility. Oh. Ooh. Okay then. Um, we'll do strength. There we go. That's all I can do here. I should call the others, let them know I'm ready. Alright, we'll do... Quest reminder, no available quests. Crystal courier, you have zero messages. We'll do max. Dialing. Oh, Cassian, are you ready? No. Oh, okay, well, we'll be here. Don't take too long. Alex. Dialing. Oh, hello, Cassian. Ready to join us yet? Fine, but then why are you calling so soon? Go finish whatever you're doing first. We'll be waiting. Do Cody. Dialing. Oh, well, is this on? Oh, Cassian, are you ready to join us? Oh. Okay, I guess we have some more time to eat, guys. Anyone want desserts? Courier. Private broadcast. Let's do Bremen. Dialing. Cassia, done with your stuff? Yes. Yep, I'm ready, Ray. All right, come to the lobby. We'll be there in a jiffy. You met up with the others at the lobby, raring to head out for the event. After a moment, you all set out to the spot Alaric designated for your group. Turns out it's quite close to the entrance of the Guardian Crystal. Quite a lot of people have already gathered there by the time you arrived. All right. You waited for a while in anticipation. Ray seemed rather rather restless. Lady Spring! Lady Spring! Though as soon as cheering broke out from afar, you knew that she had arrived. Well, well, guess we're finally meeting her, huh? Indeed. Hmm, Alaric already confirmed that Alyssa is an alias for Lady Spring, so it really must be her. Still, it feels strange to see her again, after all, and here too, of all places. She pretty. Lady Spring! Lady Spring! Oh, gods be praised! Bless our land with your almighty presence, fair sage! May you watch over our child, O great sage of spring! It's her! Ellis! Oop! Max swiftly covered your mouth before you could cry out her name. Shh! Don't say that name in public, Cassian. You're right. Sorry. You nodded at him as you stepped back in line with your group. As you looked at Alyssa, however, it seemed she'd already noticed you as she promptly greeted you back with a knowing smile. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I gotta go out to eat with my parents. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye